Sagittarius. The Archer. Last sign of the fire triplicity. November 22nd to December 21st. This sign governs the thighs of the grand man, or macrocosm. It is a masculine, diurnal, eastern, double-bodied, speaking, choleric, dual, fortunate sign of the zodiac, the negative pole of the fire triplicity, governing the thighs, hips, and the motor nerve system. The higher attributes are love and introspection. The sun enters the sign Sagittarius on or about the 22nd of November, and departs from it on or about the 21st of December of each year. The sun, just entering the sign, should be given six days before coming into full touch and action with the influence of the sign. Therefore, a person born between the dates of the 22nd and 28th of November would not receive the full central results of the sign's individuality, as he would be born when the sun was on the edge of the sign. This is known as the cusp, and its nature and impulses partake of the sign the sun has just passed through and out from, and the native will also partake of the attributes of the sign of the zodiac in which the moon is located at the time of birth. The people born under this sign usually aim well and hit the mark in all matters. Because of this characteristic they are prophetic and can tell the outcome of almost any enterprise from its inception. They rarely make mistakes when they follow their own inspirations, but are sure to be led astray if they rely upon the advice of others. Sagittarius people are born busy and keep busy under all circumstances. They are distinguished for minding their own business and keeping their own secrets. They do not trouble their neighbors' affairs but are exceedingly active in their own. They always want to finish one thing before they begin another, and are as remarkable for their carefulness in detail as are the Aries people for carelessness or inability. These people are enterprising, progressive, and far-seeing, always courageous in an emergency, but frequently timid and afraid when there is no need for action or quick thought. An emergency is an inspiration. They are neat and orderly, and very careful in money matters, saving, but not penurious. It is seldom that you find a Sagittarius man or woman without money. Their talents are varied, and they can earn a dollar while others are deploring the need of one. The women are fine housekeepers, excellent wives, and usually judicious mothers. They have a great love for children and animals. This is also a musical sign, and an occult sign, as those under its influence naturally turn to the spiritual side of life and make the most useful teachers. These people see things entirely different from the rest of humanity. Belonging to the realm of prophecy, they are also naturally clairvoyant and clairaudient. They hear words and see visions that the world knows not of. Their minds reach out far beyond the present, and so it comes to pass that a Sagittarius person is often accused of fabrication. These people always mean to tell the truth, all Sagittarius people are of one thought and one idea at a time. More than one thing on their hands at the same time distresses them. They are very decided in everything they do. They frequently jump at conclusions before properly weighing by calm reason the full consequences and difficulties, but being very hopeful, they often overcome very great obstacles. They are quick to foresee events, even to small things, are very apt to speak out their own conclusions and feel sure they are right, and hence often make enemies, for people do not usually wish to be told the truth in plain words. Almost all of these people are very blunt and outspoken for what they feel is true, but right and truth wrong no man. There is a power about them that makes their words strike home even though the persons addressed are unwilling to admit their correctness. When these words are entirely free from anger and resentment, they compel attention and often reformation, but the impetuosity of those born under this sign is very apt to dim or spoil the effect of the truth. Sagittarius people are very apt to be misunderstood. They see so clearly, think so quickly, and because of this natural intuition are so sure of being correct, that they very often strike squarely against the opinions and prejudices of those about them. This leads to discussion, unrest, and perhaps serious quarrels. They cannot bear to see suffering. The first impulse is to relieve it, and they spare neither time, money, nor strength in this work. This labor is always one of the heart, 
but strange to say it is usually repaid with ingratitude. Their generosity and goodness are constantly taken advantage of. This is the cause of great sorrow and bitterness, and wounds so deeply as to almost paralyze all effort and all desire to be of use. Personal Appearance These people have very expressive eyes, and are fine-looking, they have jovial dispositions, and are fearless and daring when doing duty, or living upon a principle. The silent ones are usually quite tall and slender. The active ones are more robust and are very graceful, being swift in all their movements. Companions These people will find their best friends among Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Libra people. Faults People born in this sign have a tendency to fly all to pieces over a small matter, are quick to anger, but quickly over it, combative, and determined to have their own way. As enemies Sagittarius people go to extremes. They may forgive and treat the one who has injured them with kindness, but they do not forget. They are unreasonable in their desire to help those they love, and are zealous and oversanguine in whatever they undertake. They are unwilling to wait for proper times and seasons, and desire to rush through every piece of work as soon as it presents itself. An unfinished task is an intolerable affliction, therefore Sagittarius people, especially the women, are likely to sacrifice health and good nature in their determination to finish what they commence. This alertness and incessant industry frequently causes trouble in the family. Those born under less active signs cannot see how it is possible for one to be forever busy. Sometimes these workers are very fond of their achievements and are exceedingly unhappy and disappointed if their labors are not properly appreciated. The Sagittarius person who has had no training in governing the faults of his sign always aims in his anger at the vulnerable spot of his enemy and is reasonably sure to hit it. Such a one when angered is very cruel. These people expect too much of others. They are quick to observe, to plan and to do, and they make small allowance for those who are less gifted in such practical respects. Until they have learned self-control they are apt to be very exacting and domineering. Diseases The diseases most likely to attack these people are weakness of the lungs, rheumatism, and stomach troubles. All these ailments and every other known to man can be entirely dominated and forever cast out by those who realize that mind is the master and body the servant of mind. Mode of Growth As the lot of those born under this sign is to be misunderstood, it is best for them to have very few confidential friends. They should cultivate calmness and repose, and think well and in silence before deciding any important question. They should not be governed by impulse in any charitable work. They should strive to find their reward for service in the unselfish motive which prompted it, and expect neither gratitude nor appreciation from any source but their own consciences. This is a hard battle, but blessed indeed are those who conquer. The bluntness of Sagittarius people is the cause of much unnecessary suffering to others, and they must not excuse themselves because of the truth of their words. They should learn to be gentle in speech and to give out the truth with discrimination. They should teach themselves not only to forgive but to forget ingratitude. Ingratitude is often returned for unselfish service, but they should not be disheartened. They should do good to all and pass on, realizing that God understands. Marriage As has been stated, a harmonious domestic life will be obtained by the union of a Sagittarius and an Aries person. The offspring will be intellectually bright, of marked genius, and usually robust. Sagittarius and Aquarius people have been known to unite well in marriage, though trouble often comes through the coldness and lack of responsiveness of the Aquarius mate. The union of Sagittarius and Sagittarius is usually harmonious, the offspring will be bright and quick, but not quite so strong as the offspring of Aries and Sagittarius. These people should be very careful in marrying as serious troubles are apt to occur from uncongenial unions. They despise all licentiousness, being naturally pure in thought and intention. Their demand for purity and individuality in married life often causes great inharmony. These people are all very strong and loyal in their love relations, 
but when they are deceived or ill-treated it is apt to embitter their future happiness. The women become silent and hopeless, while the men are likely to indulge in drink or reckless despondency. A Sagittarius woman is apt to avenge a proffered insult with a blow. The archer never wastes the ammunition of words upon such cases. It should be remembered that the happiest unions result when the contracting parties are on the same plane of intellectual and social life. Government of Children Children born under this sign must be trusted and made companions of. They cannot be easily deceived, because they know from within. It is easier by far to conquer a city than to restore to them a confidence when once it has been broken. These children should be kept active by means of simple pursuits through most of the waking hours, and as far as possible should be allowed to choose their occupations. They are apt to be almost morbidly sensitive, and their feelings are very easily hurt. They require a constant expression of love from those who have the care of them and whom they love. They are grateful little creatures, and will perform any service to win a loving caress or a word of praise. These children must be kept close to the heart, or they grow unmanageable through their disappointment. They belong to the very inmost soul of things, and coldness and indifference chill and destroy them. These little ones are very fond of other children, and this love should be fostered by parents and guardians. They early show that they are not merely attracted by personality, for the lame, the halt, and the blind are always the ones who are singled out for a special attention. A child with a dirty face is not obnoxious to the average Sagittarius little one. The faces and hands can be washed, and this is what the young archer usually proceeds to do. It is a great mistake for parents to interfere with this universal love and friendliness, for it is a rare and much-needed element in a world chiefly noted for harsh criticisms and devotion to personality. The governing planet is Jupiter, and the gems are carbuncle, diamond, and turquoise. The astral colors are gold, red, and green.